Hi, my name is Matt. I'm with OptiScience. Today, I'd like to demo our dynamic data mapping feature for you. The dynamic data mapping feature is a useful tool for users who need to update multiple pieces of data across many designs. For this example, we're going to use a coffee shop showing prices, promotional discounts, and availability. With this feature, you no longer need to update your assets individually. From a dynamic data mapping source, you can update one sheet to update all of your various menus across different locations. This saves you time and effort, making it a powerful tool for managing a large amount of content. In this demo, I'll show you how to turn any element in your template into a dynamic data mapping source. For this example, let's say your macchiato has gone up by 50 cents and is now $5. From a dynamic data mapping source, you can update the macchiato to $5 across all of your designs. And as you can see, after the dynamic data source has been updated, our price for the macchiato has gone up to $5. And that is across the board for all of the menus at each location. And so what can you do if say you run out of the cafe latte? Well, from your dynamic data mapping source, you can update it and it can be sold out. So you're able to update this from one centralized location and change your prices or availability across the board without issue. In this section, I'll show you how to configure dynamic data mapping with the OptiScience Designer tool. First, log in to the OptiScience web portal. Once logged in, navigate to the Files and Assets screen, then select Apps and launch the Designer tool. In the Designer tool, we have three options. We can use an existing asset, create a new asset, or utilize one of our templates. For this example, we'll be utilizing a template. Since we're utilizing a template, the initial design is already complete. Now we can proceed to make the desired elements of the design mappable. To make an element mappable, first we'll need to select data source from the left-hand side, then select the element in the design we'd like to make mappable, and then finally select make data mapping. Once that's done, the asset now has an asset element ID assigned to it. Providing an asset name is optional, but providing a unique asset name is useful to help identify which asset is which on your dynamic data mapping spreadsheet. You'll want to repeat this process for all of the assets that you'd like mapped in your design. Once that's completed, you'll be sure to save your design. Then you'll need to generate a data source. This can be a Google Sheet or a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. For this example, we're actually going to utilize a Google Sheet. We'll first click Generate Data Source, then select Google Sheet. We have the option here to name our Google Sheet. Then whether you're using Google, or Microsoft, you'll go ahead and sign in. You'll have the option to use single sign-on if you have it configured. You'll need to choose the location that your sheet will be stored. You'll be given a window to review that information. Then you can save and open your Google Sheet. The data mapping spreadsheet has four columns. Screen name, asset element ID, asset element name, and value. Screen name will always be the same. Asset element ID and asset element name will of course match the element you'd like to map. And value is the value that will reflect on the live assets. You can map text and images to your data mapping spreadsheet. If you choose to create your own spreadsheet, you'll need to follow the same format as the one provided. You can simply upload it to OptiSigns and choose Add Managed Data Source. Once you have your data source added, you can add additional designs to that one data mapping spreadsheet by simply copying the asset element ID and name, pasting it into the spreadsheet, copying the all for the screen name, and inputting your desired value. Now let's go over a couple of important things to note when utilizing dynamic data mapping. Dynamic data mapping is a powerful feature. Updates to your dynamic data mapping source will automatically reflect on all live assets. The design tool itself and the templates aren't live. If you wish to update the dynamic data mapping on your live assets, you'll actually need to, of course, have a data mapping source assigned. Then you're going to be able to choose refresh data in design mode only or refresh and update screens. And that's it for our dynamic data mapping. If you need any technical support or assistance, you can always reach out to our support team at support at optiscience.com or with the little green help buttons in the bottom corner of your web portal. We do have a technical knowledge base you can search at support.optiscience.com. 
And for more features like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.